This is the Thermarite HR10-2280 Pro M.2 heatsink. In this video, I'll be installing it on my M.2 drive because it is heating up. So the controller of the drive is reaching temperatures above 90 degrees Celsius and the drive, the drive package is reaching 74 degrees Celsius. And I want to bring these temperatures down. So in this video, I'm going to show you the components of this heatsink up close. I'm going to show you how to install it. And I'm going to perform a stress test on my M.2 NVMe drive. That is a TimeTech 2 terabyte Gen 3 drive. So I'm going to perform a stress test before installing the Thermarite HR10 2280 Pro heatsink. And I'm going to perform the same stress test after installing the heatsink and we're gonna compare the results of the temperatures between the two tests. So let me show you now this heatsink up close. Let me show you first what comes in the box of the heatsink. So this is a box and you have this instruction manual that really doesn't say much and you have this is a warranty extension. It is in Chinese so I cannot read it and this is the heatsink and also they give you a screwdriver with the heatsink. So let me show you the heatsink up close and the components of this heatsink. So first you have a fan and you have here a four pin connector. So you can connect it to any uh, like fan header on your motherboard, whether it is a chassis fan header or a CPU fan header. I prefer to connect it to a chassis fan header because if you put it with the CPU fan header, it will run only when the CPU reaches a certain temperature. So also, it has a big radiator and it has two heat pipes, which is really very good. And it has also a bottom plate. So now that you saw this heatsink and its components up close, and before installing it on my M.2 drive, I'm going to perform the stress test on the drive without any heatsink. So for you to see the temperatures that the drive is reaching, let me explain what you see on the screen here in front of you. This here is the hardware info software. So this is the drive and this is the temperature we're looking for, the drive temperature for. This is the controller of the drive that is heating up very much. And the same temperature, it is on the top here so that you can see it better. And these are the three programs that I'm gonna use to stress the drive. The first one is that I'm gonna run Crystal Disk Mark on the drive. And then I'm gonna run the cipher command to clean the empty space on the drive. And then I'm gonna be copying a large number of small files on the drive. So let's start the stress test now with the drive without any heatsink on it. So now the three stress test programs are running together. And you notice that the temperature of the controller of the drive started to go up and it is 73 degrees now and it's going up degree by degree. So now the test finished and these are the results. The maximum temperature that the controller of the drive reached is 93 degrees Celsius and this is really very high. And the maximum temperature that the drive overall reached was 74 degrees Celsius and this is also considered high. So now let's go and install this spectacular thermal right heatsink on the NVMe drive and we're gonna measure the temperatures after we install this heatsink using the same test. So first you need to remove these screws on both sides. So these are the screws removed. Now you can remove the bottom plate. The first thing you need to determine is how you're gonna place the heatsink on your M.2 drive. So this is a fan and the fan is very important not to be next to a heat uh, like uh, source. So like your GPU. So if you can put the fan that is not facing your GPU. So in my case, because the M.2 drive goes like this in my motherboard and my GPU is here on top. So I'm going to put it like this. So this is how I'm going to do it. The first thing you need to do here is to remove the protection from the bottom of the heatsink. And you see you have like thermal pad. We need to put it like this on the M.2 drive. So let me put it like this. Make sure to keep the opening of the screw here visible so that you can screw the M.2 drive afterwards on your motherboard. So like that, if you can see it. And this is here enough so that to install also the M.2 drive. And now push the drive to the thermal pad. And now we need to install the bottom plate. And the bottom plate like this or like this, it's the same. So just install it like this and align the screw openings here with the back plate and then push it in. And then what we need to do here is to put the screws. 
So now push the back plate with your thumb like this and then tighten the screws. So now the heatsink is assembled on my NVMe drive. I'm gonna install it now in my PC. So this is where I'm gonna install the M.2 drive here with the heatsink. And I'm gonna connect it to the AIO pump header here because I'm not using an AIO pump. And this way I can control the voltage that is going to the fan. And this is what I was talking to you about. So this is my GPU and the fan should be facing down like this far from the GPU. So this is a drive installed. Now I need to put the screw. So now the screw is installed and it is tight. And let me show you how I'm gonna connect the fan now. If the place to connect the fan to the fan header is too small for your hands, use a needle head plier. Careful, do not push too much on the connector, otherwise you're gonna break it. So here it is installed. Let me arrange the cable. And now I'm gonna show you how to adjust the voltage on this header so that the fan will run like on optimum speed. So depending on your motherboard, open the software that controls the fan speed. So in my case, it is the Asus motherboard. It is Prime B550 Plus. So I'm gonna open AI Suite 3 and here go to Fan Expert or the equivalent to your motherboard. And you have like many fans here. So you have like the chassis fans and so on. So I told you I put it on the AIO pump. So I'm going to select AIO pump. And this is the default configuration. I'm going to click on it to go to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the source. And I'm going to select on top of the CPU the motherboard and the chipset. So this way any high temperature will trigger the fan to run. So I'm going to click on OK here. And you see these are the current temperatures and this is the current fan speed. So I'm going to put it a little bit higher. So here I'm going to put it like this and then I'm going to put this like this so that the fan will run more frequently than on the default settings. And then I'm going to click on apply here. And now you see the fan of the heatsink is running. So this is the setting that you need to do on your motherboard. So now that the thermal right heatsink with fan is installed, let's perform the stress test. So this is the controller temperature that we need to monitor along with the overall temperature of the drive. And they are really very low now. And this is a very good sign. So now the stress test is finished with the M.2 heatsink with fan from Thermal Right, and the results are spectacular. So the maximum temperature the controller reached is 56 degrees Celsius only, and the maximum temperature that the drive reached was 51 degrees Celsius only. So it is 37 degrees less for the controller and 23 degrees less for the overall drive temperature than without the heatsink, and this is a huge gain. If you want to see how this Thermal Right HR10-2280 Pro M.2 heatsink compares to other heatsinks, especially the Be Quiet MC1 Pro, I've made earlier a video about this. You can check the link in the description if you want to see this video. So as you saw, the Thermal Right HR10-2280 Pro heatsink is really very good and it dropped the temperatures of my M.2 drive drastically. If you want to check out this heatsink from Thermal Right, I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.